I stumbled upon Ann Kelly and Erica C.S.'s page today, Second Grade Meadowbrook, and I got a little inspiration. Um, I took a look at their links to their spelling list, which if I click on any of these, you'll notice that it is a link to uh, a Google Doc that they have made. And I thought to myself, now wouldn't that be better if those could all be a link to a folder in Google. And then I thought again, well, I bet the reason why they like them as individual links is because then they can show and hide them. They really only show the weeks that are pertinent. So I thought, hmm, how could this be done in Google? And I came up with an idea of how you could show and hide um, spelling lists in Google. So um, in order to make this point clear, I'm going back to Mr. Ingham's page where I have created, or it, I've just mocked this up. It's a hot link to spelling lists and it does go to a collection or a folder in Moodle and I have two, excuse me, Google and I have two documents in there already. So that's what I mocked up. So my thought here is if I go back to Hopkins Apps, I have a folder called Spelling Less. I wonder if I could create another folder or collection called Spelling Less Hide. This might be a silly idea, but it, it was just an inspiration. Okay, now I need to get out of that. So I have Spelling Less and Spelling Less Hide side by side. So if I go to my spelling list, we have two in there. Let's say I wanted to hide week one because that was over. Could I take that and drag it into spelling list hide so it would remove from spelling list? And now if I go back, I'm just thinking here to Mr. Ingham's page and I click on it and I had just dragged it out of there into the hide column so it's not available. So I thought if you, all your spelling lists were either in the spelling list folder or the spelling list hide and you could easily click on spelling list and drag them to hide or click on hide and drag a document to spelling list. That might be a nice alternative to um, what you do with the winker here with the individual links to these files and that way you could take this whole chunk of content from here to here and you could reduce it down to one line or one link. Um, I think that would be better for a page um, and hopefully some others of you agree. I'm no, I don't know, it could be a silly idea. Just a thought.